As cool as this is, the radio was broken and some parts were missing, so I decided to turn it into a functional piece of furniture. Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. In this one I'll be turning this vintage radio cabinet into a very cool modern piece of furniture. Enjoy! So I'm going to make a functional piece of furniture out of this and I need to remove the front panel because I do have an idea for that and it seems like it's just held with some screws so this should be pretty simple which is great. When you work with old furniture there is always a lot of sanding and this was the case with this project. I used various techniques and different tools to make sure I didn't damage the veneer and I got the best possible results. For this project I found my card scraper to work the best, so I used it for most of the scraping. As I was working on this project, I got my new Snapmaker 2.0 3D printer slash CNC slash laser machine, so I decided to use it for this project. It's a really cool modular design that allows you to have three different machines in one, and I wanted to try the CNC first. So I put on the CNC bed that allows you to clamp down the material you're working on, and there is a very intuitive software that guides you through all the steps and makes it super easy. So now I'm just gonna clamp this down. And I search on the internet for a pattern that would work for my design. Because it was very cold, it's still cold in England, 
I kept this machine at home, but fortunately it is very quiet, so it didn't bother me at all. This machine is really interesting because you can use the laser to engrave, the CNC to carve, and you can use the 3D printer to make things. Those kind people from Snapmaker also sent me this super cool enclosure with eye protection, built-in extraction fan and LED lights. This was my absolute first time using CNC or a 3D printer, so I was a bit intimidated, but the software that comes with the Snapmaker is super easy to use and for people who have no experience whatsoever, it's pretty intuitive. There are many preset options, so you don't actually need to know much about the software and it connects wirelessly to the machine so you can start the job from your desk. The Snapdragon unit that I received comes with a large working area and I wanted to take a full advantage of it and instead of using clamps I just taped it down to the bed. When you use any of the modules for the first time the display will guide you through all the safety steps. I've always wanted to have a machine like this but always been a bit intimidated by 3D printers happy to say this is very simple to use and I never thought I would have three machines in one that saves me a lot of space and if you guys know anyone who would enjoy a machine like this this would make an amazing gift Snapmaker is doing really good deals for Christmas and if you guys are interested in buying one of these machines I'll put all the links in the description you can actually buy routing bits that will make those cards very clean. I just didn't have any, so I used some sandpaper to clean the panel up. It will take a bit more work, but here I'm just showing you what I'm going to do with those panels. I cleaned up the back and I removed the labels and saved them for later. When I work on a project like this, I never know what to call it. It's not quite a restoration. I guess it is a makeover, but I do restore it in a way. So if you have a good idea what to call this type of work, put it in the comments below. I did a lot of sanding by hand just because the veneer was quite thin and I didn't want to bust through it. If you watch my videos you know that I like to mix styles, so this pattern is mid-century modern and it's definitely not the same era as this radio cabinet, 
but I thought it looked really cool. The plywood that I used for those panels was a pretty low quality, so the bottom side of it is pretty rough, but it's going to be covered by this fabric, so you won't be able to see it. There was also a hole from the speaker that I took out from the bottom of the cabinet, so I had to cut a piece of plywood to cover it. So this was the tricky part of this project. Because of all the bits that were inside this cabinet for the radio, um, the bottom wasn't very pretty and it's also super irregular. So I had to cut a piece of plywood to cover it and to also make a shelf, but I had to do it all without taking this piece of furniture apart. So it was super difficult, but once I had a piece that actually worked, I used it as a template to cut the one that I eventually put in. If you made it this far into the video, Thank you, you probably enjoy content like this, so please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post another video. Also, like and comment, because YouTube likes it. Thank you. And if you're feeling the Christmas spirit, you can buy me a coffee via Buy Me A Coffee, or you can hit the super like button. I made some support pieces for the shelf and I glued it in place. As I was waiting for the glue to dry, I remembered that I needed to make some decor pieces to stage the final photos. Because I had the 3D printer at home, instead of buying things, I decided to make something. So I swapped the CNC module for the 3D printing module and I looked for some designs that I liked. I found this vase that was actually part of the software that Snapmaker comes with. I thought it was really cool. And I also painted it with faux stone finish and it looked super cool. And this is what it looked like. I wanted to have options, so I looked for other projects and I found this super cool design that had two different textures. So I printed this and I painted it as well. But in the end, I decided to go with something completely different. I found filament that has sawdust in it. So it kind of looks like wood and you can paint it or stain it. So I printed this vase with it and I gave it a few coats of stain. And now you can just see me generating the G-code, which is the code that tells the machine where to print it in space. For my first experience with 3D printing, this was super simple. High quality device, very nicely put together. The book that it comes with has high quality pictures and step-by-step -step instructions is very easy to follow and there's lots of videos on YouTube that guide you through the process. And this is what it looked like. Super cool.
Oh, and as I was looking through all the millions of projects that you can print online, I found this very handy holder for my paper towel. So I don't have many colors of stain, so I decided to mix two colors that I had together and I'm gonna do the inside first to kind of test it and see if I'm happy with it. I think it matches the original color quite well. And I was going to use Restore Finish on the original finish inside, but because this is spirit-based stain, I can just use this on top and it will work just fine. So that's even better. This way I can make sure that all the colors are very similar. As you can see, this stain is incredibly easy to apply. This is the easiest stain I've ever worked with. It's been very cold in the UK recently, so it's a bit tricky to work with stains and top coats. Because it was so cold, I actually had to keep the clear coat in my house for several hours and warm it up, because otherwise it would just come out as a stream rather than spray. And I also use my heat gun to warm up the wood a little bit, and kind of in combination with the clear coat at the same time. And luckily, it worked. And here I'm just using some super glue and activator to attach the fabric to those panels. I think the fabric gave those panels a very cozy and homey look and I don't actually know how someone is going to use this piece of furniture but I would imagine this to be a bedside table and I absolutely love this look it still kind of looks like radio but it is in a radio so I kept these labels that I took off from the back and I thought it would be nice if I actually put them back on. And before I show you the final photos, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for all your support this year and have yourself a wonderful holidays. See you in the next video.